Today's Gospel, Saturday, October 17, is from St. Luke chapter 12, verse 8 to 12. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord Today's reflection is from Brother Paulo Fresnosa of the Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. In preparation for World Mission Sunday, today's reading equip us with wisdom to proclaim His mission here on earth. What is that mission? It is knowing with heart, mind, and soul the full glory of God through His Son Jesus, enlightened by the Holy Spirit. That's from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. Itong karunungang ito ang isa sa maraming yaman natin bilang mga Kristiyanong Katoliko na magagamit natin sa misyon natin dito sa lupa. Huwag mahiyang magkwento sa mga kakilala natin na may Diyos Ama na wala nang hihigit pa. Diyos Anak, si Jesus, na namuhay sa mundo, nag-alay ng kanyang buhay, at Diyos Espiritu Santo na tumutulong sa atin sa oras ng kahinaan at kagipitan at iiiwas tayo sa kasalanan. Minsan kailangan lang ng konting push para mag-domino effect at muling mabuksan ang pananampalataya ng taong kausap natin. Kapatid, there will be times na maaring paghinaan ka ng loob. Let the Holy Spirit be our source of courage and wisdom as we fulfill the mission of God that He has entrusted to us. Let us pray. Holy Spirit of God, in times of difficulties, save us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.